Hey YouTube. We're here with my friend Estebans. Horizon Hobby 1.2 meter P47. Here's my P47. 1090 millimeter. You can see we just got done doing some LEDs for him. Um, he had this kit he had purchased. I think it was on eBay. Ironically enough, it's the identical kit that I put into the this. Of course, we didn't do the cr the anti crash beacon, and that is the same as this Turnigy kit, but mine was a lot less. It's the identical kit. So if you pop this thing open, this thing comes with this little controller, and um, here I'll just pop it open. These things are marketed all over the place. You can tell they're identical, but essentially they come with all the lights and leads and everything and one little trick if you're using these and you can't quite reach them untwist the lines and you'll get a little extra length out of it they come with a little led holders and instruction manual but anyway real quick uh rundown on the lighting uh we did the uh red wingtip nav light we did some landing lights they're on all the time and what a beautiful bird and we did one reverse uh rear-facing LED that is uh, gonna look really nice. Andrew, why don't you hit those lights for me? So you can see it's not as bright or as intense, but if you get lined up with them, they're very directional. And landing lights, as usual, are pointed slightly down for when I'm on a final. And then the red, and then of course the tail dragger here. Looks pretty good. So go ahead and turn that light on, Andrew. So guys, uh, we'll get up and get a flight on this. Oh, and incidentally, this is on 4S. I'll just show you the, the way I routed the cables. You're gonna think I'm nuts. There was already a seam here, so I just basically cut that seam open. This is the way he wanted it. Poked it. Went under there. Okay, guys, so yeah, so that's basically what it is. And yes, we don't run it on a 2200 4S. We usually run this one on a 3300 4S. Um, it'll run on a 2200 3S, but just not very ballsy. And see, I just chased all those wires. Just grabbed this thing out of a, you know, like just cut it out of foam. And it works really sharp for tucking in the, the extra wires. And then, of course, you have future accessibility. So anyway, guys, um, if you're looking at a Warbird... This thing has safe select, and I'm kind of, you know, helping my friend learn to fly. Well, I mean, he knows how to fly, but he doesn't maybe have the same level of confidence I do. And he doesn't fly near as often, which is the reason he doesn't have the level of confidence I do. So if you're looking to get a plane that is both beautiful in the size class of the P-51, F-4U Corsair, and the T-28, of these... This plane is a great one because it flies just about every bit as good. It's got huge flexibility for battery size and it is really beautiful, but that Safe Select, if you guys are looking for something to help you get it on the ground in one piece, Safe Select will do it. Um, I don't ever fly with the Safe Select on, hardly ever, um, but it does work and it will help you keep it level to get it on the ground and you just cut back the throttle and it just takes away a couple of different factors. Obviously it's gonna level the plane for you. Pitch, yaw, and roll. It's gonna try to keep you on the general heading and it's gonna keep you from tipping it too much. It's got bank angle uh, limits. And it, it really works good. And by the way, the canopy on this thing is just beautiful, guys. I just love these Horizon Hobby 1.2 meter planes. Some of the best planes out on the market today. And a little bigger motor in this. And if you're paying apples for apples, I really like the P51. But this plane, if you need the safe select, it's the way to go. Anyway, that's my two cents worth. I'll show you a flight here in the next couple of days. And you can see and judge whether or not the LEDs add something or take something away. I personally wouldn't have used this style of kit. I would have just done very minimalist LED lights. Um, that would be basically service mounts, surface mounts, and uh, rather than using a kit, but this is what my friend wanted to do, so we did it his way, and uh, I think it does look pretty good. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.